Hey, Shalomah, Ma'akim, and Awafim, and Yahweh Shah, Mashiach, my brothers and sisters in the Lord. You know, I'm just sitting and meditating, spending time with the spirit of wisdom, with Sophia, you know, as, as all the brothers should do, you know. That's why we like peace and quiet, man, so we can sit and meditate and ponder and wonder upon the ways of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, man, and gain wisdom through the things we see day to day and what we see unraveling, because we're in a, in a season of the unfolding of prophecy, man. All the brothers in the truth, all the elect, we know what's coming. We know what's coming down the pipeline, and we see it all coming to pass, slowly but surely, man. And I just wanted to talk about a couple things, all in the spirit, you know, and hopefully be edifying for the, uh, for the Akim and uh, Akwas who may be listening as well. You know? Well, I gotta take my exit. <laughs> I wanna miss that joint, man. Let me get up in front of you. Thank you, dog. Uh, yeah, man. The Bahamas is uh, 70 uh, 70% under the, underwater, y'all. Yep. Call her log and how about me how it shot, man. I was blessing him, man. I was blessing his name, man. Because people don't fear the Lord. You know, I was on Facebook before. I mean, when they first saw Hurricane Dorian, I was on uh, Facebook, you know, basically, you know, edifying, you know, whoever may be reading it. But you know how it is, brother. And when you, when you speak that truth, you know, people label you as a uh, doom and gloom or uh, people, you know, it's same, same, same deal when Jeremiah, Prophet Jeremiah was uh, walking the earth, man. You know, the people wanted to hear sweet things. They said prophesy to us sweet things, man. There's nothing sweet about what's coming down the pipeline, man. This is not the time or the season for peace, for anything sweet to be going on, for anything. It's going to be all terror and unhappiness, as the people in the Bahamas are experiencing right now. The death toll is at seven, and it's definitely going to, going to rise. 70% of the Bahamas is underwater. Over 13,000 houses are destroyed. You know? And as I was on Facebook uh, talking about this, uh, I believe it was like the, the day before it actually touched down on the Bahamas. This was like three days ago. And the Lord put it on my heart. Can we hear the voice of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, man? Through his Holy Spirit, through his Rock HaKadosh, man, he communes with us and let us know the mysteries of, uh, of what's going on. You know, when everybody else is lost and confounded, some people even come out of the faith because of the judgments that they behold. Rather than fearing Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, they come out. They come out of faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai because they don't understand His ways. They say, "Oh, why would I serve a God who would do this type of thing?" But they don't fear Him, man, because He's always done these things. They forget about the stories of old about Sodom and Gomorrah and Noah and how the Lord really gets down, man. But I had wrote on Facebook, you know, to the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. By Shem Rock Kadesh, man, through the Holy Spirit, that the reason why he, he uh, tore up the Bahamas like that is because of all the adultery and whoring that go, that's going on out there. Yeah, a lot of you women and a lot of the men that are already out there, you know, and even there are some men who travel to go out there to, to whore off, but it's really a lot of you women who go out and travel to sleep with these men, to cheat on your husbands, to be adulteresses. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of fornication and adultery in the islands, man. In the Bahamas. And that's why the Lord destroyed them. That's why he brought that rain down, man. He brought that Category 5 down on their head, man. And it feels good, man. It feels good. Now, I definitely, indeed, definitely, in all sincerity, ascended my prayers on behalf of the elect. For I know there's some camps out there. You know, I know GMS is out there. I know there's some men of the Lord out there, man. I definitely ascended my prayers. In sincerity on behalf of the elect but if it ain't the elect man I don't want to cuss you know I, the, the Lord just convicted me I'm about to say F him but that's why I'm gonna leave it at F him man screw him because we've been warning the masses man we've been telling we're every time these people was coming and type of destruction that the Lord has in store and we know the Lord the Lord man the Lord has control over all of this man people might say oh hurricanes always happen it's a part of nature. But guess who musters the storm? Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai does. Okay? Some people might say, oh, it's harp. It's Esau manipulating the weather through harp. 
And yeah, Esau's doing that. But Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai puts Esau up to that, to do that, to overall fulfill his will and to fulfill the destruction that he has for the wicked. Because the wicked is the sword of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Yes, indeed. You know, so I, whatever way you want to look at it, this is all in the hands of, of your high boss and your shot, man. And quite frankly, it doesn't matter if you agree with the judgments or not. And I will still be praising and shouting my praise unto the Lord if if this uh, if this hurricane was to come up. Because I'm on the East Coast. If it was to come up to where I'm at, and I live 10 minutes outside of Washington, D.C., the belly of the beast of Babylon, you know, if this hurricane came up here and decimated my inhabitants, man, I will still I will still send my praises to Yahweh Bashem and Yahweh Shai, man. Because the man of the Lord we glorify in, in, in Yahweh's judgments, man. And it's a faith booster. You know? Here we are, we prophesy calamity, terrors, and it's going to get worse. You know, but we prophesy these things to the masses and we get disrespected. You know? But blessed, but blessed are you, man, when you when you when you're talked down upon. For your reward will be great. In the kingdom, man. So we're blessed for the pure hell that we're catching right now, dealing with you two thirds, you Gentiles, you atheists, and and it's really mostly our own people, you know, that come up against this, man. I'm laughing. The Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is laughing at them two third niggas that's drowning in the Bahamas and them Edomites who thought they were gonna have their feet in some in some warm sand. No, no, no. Now's the battle for your life. In a moment, the terrors of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai has consumed the wicked. Hallelujah. That's what's up. You know, some people might say I'm sadistic or negative, but not at all. Because I don't want to say I already know these things because it's all through the spirit, but the body of Yahweh Shai Mashiach, the elect, we already know these things are coming to pass. We already know as soon as we saw or heard of Dorian that this was a destroyer, a spirit of destruction through the whirlwind that was created by Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai to accomplish the destruction that he created it for. He didn't create Dorian that hurricane to bring to, to bring down some light rain and to uh and to um you know help crops grow and you know cool the weather down a bit and then for it to keep going. No, he sent that hurricane, that category five, to destroy, and that's exactly what it accomplished. Yeah, it's gonna be a state of emergency down there. Seventy percent of the Bahamas is under water. Call how long you by show me how it shot. That's what we're talking about. The more hell that's breaking loose, the more pure hell and terrors that go on between earthquakes, and it's going to intensify between wars, rumors of wars, earthquakes in diverse places, these hurricanes. The, unleash, the unleashing of the uh, spirits created for vengeance, putting demons on these Edomites to go around and kill everybody, the opioid epidemic, the soon to come famine. A lot of these stupid, stupid two thirds don't even consider the famine. And the prophets of the Lord are telling you the Lord has broken the staff of bread, He has afflicted the Midwest of America. That's where your corn, your rice, your beans, your oats, that's where all that comes from. Right now we're eating the reserves. Right now we're eating and what's on the grocery shelves is from 2017 to 2018. This time next year it ain't gonna be no damn food. And you two third nigger lights. And I don't really care about the Gentiles and the heathens because these plagues, what does Zephaniah 3 and 8 say, man? The Lord, he said, wait upon me for I'll bring a for I'll bring a full end of all the nations. We will not bring but will, but will not make a full end of Jacob, and that's written in Jeremiah as well. So we already know we already know that the heathens and the Gentiles are going to catch hell for the controversy against Jacob from Psalms 83. We've been enslaved, man. We've been made a consumer. We've been made slaves under these, uh, under these other nations. And as the Lord brings down these other nations and, and destroys these nations through natural calamities, through these tariffs, the trade wars, through economic collapse. And the Federal Reserve is on its way out the door, man. And you people ain't listening. And you're not repenting. All you gotta do is repent. And you're covered. The hell is gonna come regardless. But you can be omitted. 
you can depart from Babylon and not receive of her plagues. Because when all hell truly does break loose, when Jacob's trouble arises in this time, you know how stupid two thirds are, okay? You know how stupid two thirds of Jacob are, right? There's law and order now, right? I don't want to say there's so-called peace, but technically, compared to what's coming, it kind of is peace right now. You know, if you do something, you're going to go to jail. There's consequences, you know, and, and there's order. There's an active judicial system, right? You go to work every day. Things have an order right now. When that order is disrupted, okay, when, that, when there's no more electricity, when there's no more food, when there's no more water, yeah, it is all to bring in Agenda 21, a.k.a. Jacob's Trouble, because they're going to try to exterminate 7 billion people on the face of the earth and leave only 500 million. And best believe they're going to try to kill as many of Jake that they can, predominantly these Edomites. But he's going to use the UN peacekeepers and these FEMA troops and these Durka troops who are from all the other nations. So they're about to put their foot up two-thirds Jake's ass. And all two-thirds of Jake got to do is repent. You daughters of Zion and you sons of Zion, man. All y'all got to do is repent, but y'all won't do it. So what the Lord got to do, you got to break the staff of bread, which is damn well on his way. We already know it. The elect, we already know that's on the way. And what he got to do, he got he to muster up the storm, destroy your houses. Oh, yeah. Don't be surprised if they bring the U.N. peacekeepers out there in the Bahamas. Don't be surprised if when they bring the U.N., peacekeepers to the Bahamas, the same way they did to, when they sent, when, when Haiti had that earthquake, you know, that state of emergency in Haiti, and they sent the UN peacekeepers over there, yeah, there's 13,000 homes destroyed in the Bahamas, man, there's dead bodies are laying around out there, man, and that's what the fuck y'all get, and the elect, we laugh, when you, when, when these people's terrors came upon them, when their roofs we're getting blown off of their houses. When their cars are getting flipped over. Yeah, with their, with, with their babies in the house and everything, man. If you hop out, shim, you hop shot, I don't give a damn. He kill you. He kill your wicked ass offspring too. Let the, let, let the multitude perish, which were born in vain, man. There's going to be a lot of perishing. It's time to repent. Repent. All you got to do. Is repent for all your violations of the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, and try to keep those law, statutes, and commandments. Because these law, statutes, and commandments were pointed to you two thirds, man. All of the spirit, it wasn't because you, you, you are the multitude born in vain. You are the regenerated two thirds for, from the beginning. And you are going to receive your punishment for putting our, for putting our Messiah to death. If you can receive that. Y'all right back. The same niggas that gave Jeremiah problems. The same niggas that gave Paul problems. The same Israelites that gave Yahweh Shah Mashiach himself problems. And even gave him up to crucifixion. Y'all about to receive the punishments. But you're going to hear this prophecy. You're going to hear the sound doctrine. Because what? The true gospel shall go out to the four corners of the earth. And then the end shall come. And we're here at the end. Because this true gospel has been going out for damn near a decade now. There's no excuse for you niggas, man. There's no excuse for you two thirds, man. It's more so two to so-called black Native Americans and Hispanics. I'm not talking to the Gentiles. I ain't talking to uh, the so-called white man. I ain't talking to these Edomites. Cause they're gonna get their destruction. There's no, there's no help for them. Cause salvation is only for Israel. Okay. And the first fruit is only gonna be 144,000. And these numbers are pretty much sealed, man. Is it, come on, man. The judgments are here. And the glory of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah is going to shine on us in the day of famine. And we know the famine is coming. We know the destruction is coming. So we're about to get the power, brothers. And likewise, while we come back into power, she who is my enemy, we say, where is thy power? So we trod it on her feet. So you woman, man, you Israelite woman got some pure hell coming, man. We're coming back into power, man. All these nations are going to go down. We come back into power. When there's no food, when there's, when there's destruction, and when the Lord put these spirits on these animals to be eating these people alive, yeah, yeah, teeth of wild beasts. When these spirits of vengeance are fully unleashed and it's all hell, and you can't get a break out here for a moment, 
without constantly being in a state of terror and discomfort, the man of the Lord, we're going to be eating. We're going to have power. The glory of the Lord is going to shine upon us. Pertaining to Isaiah chapter 60. Yeah, verse 1 and on. Yeah, we're going to be shining out here, man. But you know, when these UN, to get back on topic about Dorian, man, when these UN peacekeepers, if they instituted and they're all in the spirit, I feel like that's coming. You know what these UN peacekeepers are going to do. I've showed y'all. If you've been following my channel, and if you're looking to hate, man, they, they, they're child, man. They're going to be raping them little Bahama kids. And two-thirds about to start catching hell, man. Two-thirds, the, the, the northern tribe been getting it. Because you know what Esau is doing behind the scenes? Uh, with this de uh, deportation and separating these kids from their uh, Hispanic mothers and fathers, so called Hispanic mothers and fathers. Esau's raping these kids, man. Yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna come out eventually, but that's what it does. That's what the devil does. And watch you niggas act surprised when it comes out. But just like the northern ten tribes were separated first and went to captivity under the Assyrians to the land of Osiris. And, and, and are who we knew as the Native Americans, the Native American tribes of North America. Yeah. That's they were separated first, and then Judah got it. Now Judah about to get a foot up his ass. Now, now the Southern Three tribes about to get their ass handed to them. Yeah. Ephraim has been getting hit, has been catching hell. So has Judah. But now the Southern tribes about to catch hell. Especially in the land in the North. Especially in America. Like I was saying earlier, man, these two-thirds are so retarded, man. They see these judgments, they see the hell that's coming down, and what do they do? They wax wickeder and wickeder, man. And it's going to come a time where, when the Lord is going to draw that line, and if you're in wickedness, you're going to receive your judgment. And if you're in righteousness, you're going to be you're going to be saved according to his mercy's sake, man. According to his righteousness. You understand? Yeah. Let the holy be called holy. Let the wicked be called wicked, man. It's going to be a separation. And then the Lord's going to proceed to separate the wheat from the tares in which he's going to destroy two-thirds of you niggas. That's exactly what you are because you ain't coming back to your house and you have a shot. Your power. And you're seeing his power. You're witnessing his power. And you're not And you're not taking heed to it. It's like y'all retarded, man. You don't fear the Lord. Because you're still going to be going to church on Sunday. You're still going to be celebrating these pagan holidays. You're still going to have pork on your fork tonight. You're still going to be adulterous and adulteresses. Y'all still going to be, you, you woman, you're still going to be deep throwing cucumbers in the club. You're still going to be lewd and raunchy. Man, the Lord about to destroy you niggas, man. And they let, we're going to laugh at you. And we're going to laugh at y'all, man. But these you and peace keepers out here beating the shit out you women and breaking you women down and shooting you two third niggas who think you hard. Yeah, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is harder than you. And he's going to send pure demons on your ass. He's going to send pure vessels, pure, pure vessels that are full of demons. Yeah, there's people walking around here full of demons. He's going to sick them right on you, man. Sick, perverted people. He's going to put them on your ass. Yeah. Like I said, there will come a time when the wicked is going to just wax wickeder. And the holy is going to be counted as holy, man. You know, it's all in the scripts. I'm driving right now. But it is something that needs to be talked about. So we're going to keep an eye on the Bahamas. But I, I, I don't think nothing's good coming there, man. The Blue Helmet's about to be over there. <laughs> the Red Cross and the FEMA about to be over there. And there's going to be a lot of rape. There's going to be a lot of abuse on a woman. On a adulterous woman. Yeah, it's pure hell, man. It's judgment season, man. It ain't no time to hold hands. It ain't no time for peace. It ain't no time for none of that, man. It's time for the fruition of what the Lord has been putting on the mouths of the prophets to come to pass. Period, man. And we've been talking this for years. We're tired of being spat on. We're tired of people talking shit to us, man. Now Jehovah Shimei Yahweh Shai is backing it up. And we're laughing. We're laughing, man. It's, gonna, it's beautiful, man. It's beautiful judgments, man. But here's another thing, brethren. Before I step out, before I step out the whip, man. Walmart is uh is banning all um fire uh, Walmart is banning all ammunition sales, and this is something I've been talking about too. I don't think I made a video on it, but I've been telling people about this years ago. You know, like well, this gun violence is all for a purpose. You know, and the main purpose is to disarm America. 
And you know when they go to disarm America, what's going to happen? The Lord, what he's about to do is put Egyptian against Egyptian, Edomite against Edomite. And what you got to understand is when you refer to the days of old and the days of Moses, there was Israelites who, who, who were plagued too. There were rebellious, disobedient ass Israelites who were not delivered off the land of Egypt. They died with the Egyptians, for real. So what we're going to see here is when this civil unrest happens and Esau rides up against his own system, with a system of, of, of his own people, these low level Edomites in the country with, 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 all these, with all this weaponry and all these firearms, and all these rifles and pistols, it's gonna be a civil war in America, man. And Jenkins with two thirds gonna get caught in the crosshairs of that. Financial economic woes, it's coming. The Dow and the S&P and the NASDAQ is landsliding hundreds of points day by day. With all these new tariffs and these trade wars going on between the United States and China, how did you not see it? Every time I get a paycheck from my laborers that Yahweh me, Yahweh shot gracefully allowed me to earn, which is which, which is kind of a vanity, man, because we're not even supposed to be working, man. We're supposed to be kings of this earth. So, so the Lord's gonna break break our bondage and our captivity sooner than later. But nonetheless, when I work, I be thinking to myself, this is real talk. Am I even gonna get that check? <laughs> Are we even gonna make it another two weeks here? Yeah. Because the Agenda 21 and that, and that RFID chip it has to be implemented and things have to happen in order for that to be implemented. But two-third niggas want to fight over Popeye's chicken sandwiches, man. The Lord going to put y'all to death, man. Period. If you don't like it, you don't like it. So the fuck what? It don't matter. The Lord ain't playing with your feelings. He ain't playing with your emotions. And the prophets, we're getting weary, man. We're getting tired. But, we, but we've been putting our hands in this plow trying to warn you people over and over again. The Gentiles, whatever, man. Y'all can get your judgments regardless. Because the Lord is going to make a fool end of all the nations of the world, man. Period. He's going to raise up his elect, man. And we're going to begin to take the world. We're going to take this, this earth with a rod of iron. We're going to stand and we're going to rule over it. Yes, that is the truth. And two-thirds don't want the kingdom. They don't want it. The rule up to them, Esau rule forever. The rule up to them, uh, hurricanes, natural disasters, and earthquakes. They wouldn't want those things to damage Esau's infrastructure. Because don't forget, the Bahamas is under the British regime. You understand? That's Britain's territory, so that's still Esau's territory too. Yeah. It was up to two-thirds. And things would be per things would be perfect in their captivity, man. They will continue to serve. They will continue to serve the servant. They don't want to be kings and princesses, man. Until the thrones of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. They don't want to rule these nations. They don't want to be up top. They want to be slaves, man. Two thirds of house niggas, man. That's exactly what they are. And they let we in the field. We're catching hell. And we're ready. We're happy. We pray the Lord when these calamities come come upon the land, man. Indeed. But yeah, like I was saying earlier, spirit kind of got on me. But uh, Walmart is uh banning the sales of ammunition. I don't know about you, brothers, but you know I used to go to Walmart for my little uh pistol or shotgun ammunition when I used to go to the range and stuff like that. That's that's a huge thing, man. And it's just starting with Walmart. Then online sales are going to be suspended. Yeah. Then they're going to come and take the guns. It's going to be Egyptian versus Egyptian. Edomite versus the Edomite. And I'm going to do a video on that. Because I got some pretty interesting clips that's going to illustrate what's about to come. And two third jakes are going to get caught in the crosshairs. Esau's carnal nature is about to come out. Yeah. Because now he's catching the affliction and the curses. We know what Esau does under affliction, and, not, and, 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 and he's base. There's no one baser on the face of the earth. Who's going out shooting up all these all these schools? All these shopping districts? Who's doing it? There was another shooting in, in Texas again. A Desso, I think. I may be wrong. Another shooting. Edomite. Come on, man. We all know the purpose of it is for uh, gun control. But all these things must come to pass, man. I had, a, I, had, I had a vision maybe about six months ago. And I put it. I made a video on it. It's under my channel. The Lord showed me... Uh, these army people kicking in my door, man. Yeah. These people in army fatigues, these uh, militants are about to be kicking in doors, taking guns and ammunition. Words of advice, I suggest you don't keep your stuff in the house, man. That's the best. That's all I'm going to say. You know, that's all I'm going to say. But these times are coming. It's going to be pure civil unrest, insurrection amongst men. When men shall not regard the kings or the, nor the princes. Men ain't gonna care about the police. These police are gonna reside, resign. A lot of them will be put to death. 
You know, there's gonna be no rule, law, and order, man. And the most vulnerable, the most vulnerable people in the world are gonna be Esau and the daughters of Zion, unfortunately. Because your daughters are not in one, one alliance with your men. And if you are in alliance with the Israelite man, he's a two-third more than likely because y'all like wicked niggas. Y'all like men that are indoctrinated. And y'all like Babylonian men. Babylonian Israelites. Tears. You have children with tears. You know? You don't want y'all women to want a righteous man for real. Y'all don't. But regardless, man, this is just a spiritual conversation, man. I hope it was edifying. I want y'all to look into the Bahamas. You brothers definitely stay in the spirit. You know, keep posting these videos. You know, the Akiyam such as myself definitely do enjoy the edification. Um, you sisters, continue to stay in order. You one third of women. You, you daughters of uh, and princesses of Zion. You know, stay under your men in righteousness. And if you don't have a man, stay in prayer for one. And Yahweh by Shemi Hawashah will send you an elect man to bring you in the truth and to be your covering. You know, depart from Babylon, yo. Depart from Babylon. All the Akim and Akwathim. Really, you know, I can we can warn two thirds all we want, and the reality of it is, is that they're already marked from death. They, they was marked for death since they was born. You know, that's, it, it, that's just real truth. They're just not gonna get it. They're just not gonna get it, bro. Ah, they're just not gonna get it, man. But we still got a part to do, so their blood gonna be on our hands, man. Totally is edifying. And I'm about to go ahead and slide in the house, you know. And uh, until next time, man. Shalom off.